What can you learn from this? Made famous by the 1957 war movie The Bridge on the River Kwai, this march by the English composer J.F. Ricketts under his pen name Kenneth J. Alford is most famous for its engaging and oftentimes whistled first part melody. What you can learn from this piece? It's clear three-part structure. This march in duple meter is a good example and guideline for the typical three-part march, also called March with Trio, and is the most commonly played march structure by wind bands all over the world. The template for this is quite simple. The piece is generally built around three distinct melodic parts. First, there is an uplifting, memorable part in major. A contrasting second part in minor follows, in which the melody is often given to the lower instruments like the trombones. The contrasting third part, again in major and oftentimes more lyric and called the trio, is played in another key, most often in the key of the subdominant. To these three parts, additional elements can be added but are entirely optional, like for example an introduction that settles the tonality, the mood and the tempo at the beginning of the piece, or a modulation section that leads to the new key of the trio section. Furthermore, the composer can choose to repeat themes already played before, for example after the second and the third part of Colonel Bogey, Alfred chooses to repeat the first part and hammer this great melody in with lasting success. And you? What have you learned from Colonel Bogey's march? Please let us know in the comments. By dropping a like or a follow, you enable us to do more content like this. Thank you.